Daily Musa, and this year is dedicated for the Panasa Atzlacha of Hegel Sara Batru Ben Leib. This is from Sefer Sharet Shuva of Rabenu Yona. It says, Tava Netuna Beleva Adam Shoresh Kola Peulot. What makes a person do something is his desire, whatever the desire would be. One person's desire is for honor, one person's desire to. Uh, to, you know, to serve people, everybody is. So the desire is the is the force of our actions. Therefore, if you'll be able to control and direct your ta'ava, right, you'll be able to uh, direct your actions to exactly where you want it to be. Now, a person needs to know that everybody has different desires and different opinions, and therefore you will never, if you're going to align yourself based on people's will and desires, you will never be able to break even, and I'm in great doubt you'll be able to achieve anything. Why? Because he wants something, and he wants something else, and he wants something else, and he expects something from you, and the other one expects something from you, and you expect something from yourself. You're never going to be able to achieve anything in your life, nor to make everybody happy. That's a given. You cannot make everyone happy. But, if you're going to be logical about what you're doing, then you're going to have friends. And he's going to have a lot of people who's going to love and appreciate him. What does it mean? It means that Changes in opinions, changes of opinions occur all the time. Look, if you look at America 60 years ago, and America on today, even though it's America, it's a totally different world. It's a totally different country. So whatever was good 60 years ago, is not any more good today. Look in Israel. Whatever was good 30 years ago or 40 years ago, is completely obsolete today. So what is there for me to do? And le- align yourself with something that extends above and beyond time. Align yourself according to the sechel, to the logic of the Torah, in which Chachamim and, and Nevi'im, based on the Torah, had established for us to go so we won't get lost. Our spiritual GPS is, or our life GPS is the Torah and the ways of Chachamim in which they're giving us. Not to be arrogant, not to be Ishmalet Techachim, a person who is deceiving and sneaking and scheming all the time. Be honest, be truthful. And you should, a person should try to do his best to live up to the Torah as much as he can to the best of his abilities. That will help you to put your physical desires under control. You can't eliminate them completely. We still need to multiply. We need to eat. We need to do physical things. But you need to have them under control. And you would see that one of the things that prevent us from making tshuva and to seek closeness to Hashem and in return become holy is that we set our desires loose. Therefore, anything that would cause you to lose control in terms of your desires is something you should stay away from. And most of the time the Yetzirah does not work directly. For example, a person does not decide one day, that's it, I am not keeping Shabbat anymore. A person does not say all of a sudden, I'm not keeping Shomer Negiah anymore. This thing is a process. It slowly, slowly happens. Starts to, okay, this Shabbat, okay, I'll rip the paper. Next Shabbat is, I'll turn the light on. Before you know, he drives on Shabbat to the beach. He's going Santan and the whole in the Shish Kebab and Mangal on, the, on Shabbat. So a person needs to be aware of that. You need to be on guard. 
Slowly, slowly it happens. So your desire or, or your lack of ability to control your desire would start with something that is little and really insignificant and really work itself in like a chain, almost like an unstoppable chain reaction. On You would say, you know what, today I'm going to sleep one, one more minute, five minutes. Just, I'll stay in bed, I'm awake. A month from now, you're not getting up to Davan anymore. All it is is five minutes, isn't it? I'm tired. Five minutes, five minutes. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize I missed it. I missed it. What happened? I said, five minutes, I thought to be two hours, I'm late. That's what it was. You woke up, you set your alarm clock to wake you up because you need to do something. Where is your spiritual alarm clock? Where is the snooze button in the alarm clock that keeps on... Where is you that he says, okay, why did I put the alarm clock so I can get up and start my day? You're stumbling, you're, you're cascading down by little things. Then before you know, it's like a little spring that comes from the mountain, drip by drip. And before you know, it could end up to be something like a big Niagara Falls. And you go down, you can't stop. So we need to make sure and be on guard from those things in which make us lose control, even if it's the most benign thing. Lo Alenu, God forbid, a cancer starts with one cell that decides to, to go out of control. And there is such thing as spiritual cancer. So if somebody is offering you to lose control, tell them thank you, but no thank you. And please lose my number. And it's not that we are becoming control freaks. We're becoming aware of our abilities and we're putting it to good work. So Yiratzon, the Rakadosh Baruch Hu, will help us be machnia. Lachnia, oz renia chai, el chai, help me a living God. Lehachnia, to overcome et ayetzer, our desire. Lachnia means that I'm going to be in control of it. Doesn't mean to kill it. Doesn't mean that I'll be in control of it. Not it will have control of me. So Bezot Hashem, Bishchutze HaKadosh Baruch Hu will help us, will make us aware that we have the tools to succeed, because we all have the tools. But will make us aware that we can do it, and we have the tools, and we should be granted B'Kedusha, Mimakom Elyon, Amen. Yeah.